out of corner number four. Green flag is out, and we're underway at Dirt Cup night number one. What a start for Corey Day there, Caleb. Look at Corey Day to fourth already. Just like he did in his heat race, sneaking and weaving his way through, but we're going to do it all over again. Two cars, Caddy Wampus at the start-finish line, Lane Taylor's 4L, Greg Hamilton's 96, and we see our first caution flag. Still some shenanigans up and going. Green flag is out, and there goes Corey Day again to the bottom and of the racetrack. And a better one that time, up to third right now, battling a look at the battle for the lead. Willie Croft to the inside, Colby. Thornhill takes the lead in turn four. So Thornhill's going to set the pace on lap number one. Thornhill out in front on the first circuit. Let's see how far he can stretch. Croft tucking into the low side in second, and Corey Day already up to third and closing the distance on Croft through three and four. If you get a look, your leader, Thornhill, pounding down the cushion in one and two, but behind him, they're slicing for the second spot as there goes Day into the middle. Oh, look out, Willie backed up the corner a little bit too soon, and that's gonna cost him. Day will now have second and go on to seek and destroy mode with Thornhill out front. Now Tanner Holmes starting to turn the heat up for the fourth spot. He'll take it from Justin Cox. They nearly come together into turn three. And Corey Day closing as they roll into turn number three. Day trying to take the top spot and the high road up and around Taylor. Splits the difference as you got one in the wall and Nick Parker. Parker hanging on to it, but it looks like he's rolling to a stop. And that'll bring this race to a caution flag. Trails in and behind Thornhill. Back straightaway restart is underway. And it's a good one for Thornhill this time as the battle for second is on and Willie Croft has jumped back forward and taken second away and he's looking for the lead out of turn number two on Thornhill. How about Willie Croft? Croft into second battle for third now. Justin Sanders on the move. Here comes Zeb Wybe as well. Tanner Holmes on the move as well. All kinds of movement going on as you see Day just struggling and looking for something, trying to build his rhythm back and around the top. He's following Holmes now who runs in fourth position as up front. We got a change. Willie Croft to the top spot at lap number 11. Caleb Croft starting to run away. Look at the high side and look at Corey Day. Well, this restart much better for Corey Day. He's right behind Tanner Thorns. Oh, tags the wall though, bounces off the wall and comes down the back stretch going after Colby Thornhill now for third. Boy, Corey Day says, who needs a Jacob's Ladder anyways? As he goes up and <laughs> slaps the wall in the corner, he's gonna go way upstairs and do it again. Attitude to that race car looks fast, just looks like it's a lot to handle as he dive bombs the bottom out of nowhere on Colby Thornhill. Thornhill crosses back underneath him, holds the spot for the time being, but Corey Day speed around the top, down the back straightaway, he's got third. Moves Evan to the fifth spot with 11 to go. You, meanwhile, your race for the lead starting to pick up. Here comes Justin Sanders in turn four for the lead. In dilemma is Willie Croft. They come into slower traffic and Sanders picks up the lead on lap number 20. Croft slowed up to try to find his way around traffic. Now gets back to the bottom of one and two, but Corey they're Day. both about to find Corey Day. Wow, All Corey up in Day. their business. <laughs> Corey Day up and around Croft. Corey Day now working high side with all kinds of momentum, coming after the reigning Dirt Cup champion down the back straightaway. The way Corey Day bounces off the walls like watching Anthony Macri and Day threads the needle. What a move by Corey Day to take the lead at lap number 22. He gave her the old hot two and put her right <laughs> through, did he not? As he rolls down the back straightaway, Corey Day doing things that only he can as he comes out of corner number four and stretches the advantage. Now it Sanders on the move, trying to come back after him. Sanders led lap number 23 after Day led lap 22. Justin Sanders back to the point, and Zeb Wise now pressuring Corey Day for second. Zeb Wise into the second spot as Day tags the wall. And it's Day off the pace. Have to wonder if it's the right rear with the way he was hitting the wall, and it is. Backstretch restart, Kayla. All right, they worked their way into the third corner. Zeb Wise now going on the attack and coming after Justin Sanders. They've got to make this full complete lap for it to count and for it to be the 25th circuit. And here comes Zeb patiently into the corner, rolls into the middle as Sanders goes upstairs, drag race down to the line. It's even Steven at it and Zeb Wise leads lap 25. Zeb Wise leads the lap going after his first win in the 2024 season at his boss's track. One more time around, Zeb Wise has opened it up quite nicely. Rest of the field makes it through three and four. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Checkered flag in the air. First win of 2024 for the boss's car. Zip wise at Skagit Speedway.